So 6.1 is area between two curves, and the objective is students will compute the area between two curves with respect to the x and y axis. So the formula is the integral from a to b, f of x minus g of x dx, which could also mean the integral from a to b top minus bottom dx or the integral from a to b right minus left dy. So our first example is to find the area enclosed between y equals x squared and y equals x plus 6. Um, the first step we have to do is to calculate our endpoints or limits for the integral. And we do this by setting the functions equal to each other and solving. So x squared equals x plus 6. X so x squared minus x minus 6 factored is x plus 2 times x minus 3. So x equals negative 2 and x equals 3. Um, these are endpoints for our integral. Now you can graph. It looks something like this. If this being 3 and this being negative 2. As you see, your endpoints are at negative 2, 4, and 3, 9. Now that we know our limits, we can plug everything into the formula. So using top minus bottom, the area equals the integral from negative 2 to 3. Um, x plus 6 minus x squared dx. Because if you look at the graph, the function x plus 6 is above x squared. So now you integrate x squared over 2 plus 6x minus x to the third over 3 from negative 2 to 3. And this comes out to be 125 over 6. Our second example is to find the area enclosed between x equals negative y squared plus 10 and x equals y minus 2 squared. This time we will use the right minus left formula because we are finding the area with respect to the y-axis. So again, we need to find our endpoints. Negative y squared plus 10 equals y minus 2 squared. And this gives us y equals negative 1 and y equals 3. Our graph will look like this.
and this is the area we're finding. This one is x equals negative y squared plus 10. And this one is x equals y minus 2 squared. So we see that negative y squared plus 10 is the rightmost function, and that will go into the formula first. So area equals the integral from negative 1 to 3, negative y squared plus 10 minus y minus 2 squared dy. Simplified, this is the area negative 1 to 3, negative 2y squared plus 4y plus 6 dy. Then we integrate. So negative 2y to the third over 3 plus 2y squared plus 6y from negative 1 to 3. And this turns out as 64 over 3. Our final example is a little harder because we have negative and positive area. Find the area enclosed between y equals 0 for the x-axis and y equals 3 times x to the third minus x. So we find the endpoints 0 equals. 3 times x minus x, which ends up being x equals negative 1, 0, and 1. Then we graph. And the graph looks like this. Just being negative 1. So from negative 1 to 0, y equals 3 times x, times x to the third minus x is on top. But from 0 to 1, it's on the bottom. Therefore, we have to have two separate integrals. So the area equals the integral from negative 1 to 0. 3x to the third minus x minus 0 dx plus the integral from 0 to 1, 0 minus 3x to the third minus x dx. Then we integrate 3x to the fourth over 4 minus 3x squared over 2 from negative 1 to 0 minus 3x to the fourth over 4 minus 3x squared over 2 from 0 to 1. This comes out to be 3 over 2. I've now shown three examples of calculating area between curves. Thanks for watching.